um, happy with his films, but I understand where he's coming from. He knows, you know, he doesn't want his films to be all sad and gloomy. And then I saw a comment on somebody else's page, I think it was Lydia Cotton's page. Somebody was saying, white people present crap for years. They present a whole bunch of crap, but we don't, you know, protest that they put out a lot of crap. But see, I understand that comment because they were saying that as black people, we always put down our, our own stuff and not support it, but uphold all of the white things and everything that's in the white community. But see, my argument to that is this. Top, we're not given that many films. You have almost 200 films, I have many films come out that, that's majority white. But you know, we get maybe 20 films, 20 feature films a year. So we don't have that much to play with. You know, that's just like I give you $100 and you have to last a whole year off that $100. You better, you know, get what you need with that hundred dollars, you know, and treat that hundred dollars well, you know, with what you with what you have. You better get all you need, and then you can play around. But let me over your dump. is that our films chronicle the times, you know, many times. And I think that's what many people are looking for in Tyler Perry. They want him to chronicle the times, to make a bunch of sad films. But, you know, that's not always good to do. You know, there has to be balance. And I think people just want balance from Tyler Perry. I don't think that people want him just be the Spike Lee type of artist. Because he's not going to be a Spike Lee type of artist. I don't want him to be. Because that's not his gift. His gift is not making people sad, you know. You know, he's gone through enough in his life. What do you need to be sad for? But anyway, I just think the film was good. I think Claire did a good job. She did a good job. I'm telling you, she was so mean. Like, she was... It was like, I love her being mean. Maybe because I'm mean, I don't know. But she was mean. Then Kimberly Elise, whatever her name, she was she was good, but she's been sad in every movie she's been in. And one of my friends compared Kimberly Elise to, um, what's that lady name? The lady that played um, Dr. King's wife. Yeah, Cicely Tyson. They said it's they said that Cicely Tyson is typecast being the gloomy mother, the gloomy aunt, the gloomy grandmother. So she's just like they don't even put her in makeup anymore. They just tell her to go out, just just walk up and just start filming. Like they just say gone on as is. Like because she's just known as that. And I think that is true about Kimberly Elise. She's typecast to the point where she's just sad in every movie like she's sad like girl get some joy in your life let me give you a cup of joy <laughs> let, me, oh, let me talk about this this is some about the boyfriend the gay oh spoiler alert I'm sorry if you haven't seen the movie stop right here bye but I don't understand like the boyfriend why was Janet Jackson like coughing? If that's HIV, that's what HIV means. But, but you know, I, I understood it after I'm like, okay, this film is kind of like the play. So if you're in the play, like how can you personify HIV? Then you would do it as coughing. So I understood it later. But in the, in the film, like you like, okay, I don't understand. Like Janet Jackson was like coughing. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> You know, it was, you know, it it fit her though. Like that role fit her. Like, because she, I mean, where's her nose? Like, where's Janet Jackson's nose? Like, Janet Jackson's nose was like in her pocket or something. I think they buried Janet Jackson's nose, like with Michael Jackson. Like seriously, like she has no nose. Like her nose looks like one of my Cabbage Patch dolls. You know? And I was expecting her to like snap on the dude, like when she found out that she had HIV or whatever. 
Like, because that's what would happen. She would not say, and take the HIV video. Anyway, what did you think about the movie? This really wasn't much of a review, but whatever. I can do as, as I please. Bmccord.nring.com. Urbanham.com. Normally, I might say something, but I just want to hear the music play. Is that all right? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.